How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Decca Blue figure. So first off, this is a web exclusive figure, but you still get the window display to see pretty much the whole figure inside. And it does have the number two on the side here. It's a really nice touch. And then the window does continue to the top. So you have the character's name and some logos. And then pretty much the same on the other, on the one side. See the window moves onto the side here. On this side, you have a nice picture of the figure with the name in the back. The bottom, you have some legal stuff. And then the back, you have just a few pictures of the figure. To open the box, just lift open the side flap. And then you remove the front cover. And there's the figure, all together with his accessories. So first you do get some instructions showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. So here's the actual figure and if you already have the figure arts decker red figure then this figure is pretty much the same thing but just in a different color so overall the sculpt is exactly the same as decker red so overall it's really nicely sculpted and detailed so looking at the helmet i feel that they've definitely captured the likeness of the character really well looks just like him from all angles and the helmet itself is painted in a nice glossy blue finish looks really nice and then of course you have the visor, which is a nice glossy black. And then for the mouthpiece, it's a silver finish. And that continues around the helmet as well. And then for the ears, they're actually a translucent red. So it looks really nice and effective. And of course you have the police logo on the forehead, which is nicely sculpted and detailed. Moving down to the torso. Very basic sculpt, so you do have the SPD logo here, has a nice finish, and then the actual number two pattern is actually sculpted on in the torso. And for the most part, it's nicely painted as well with the white lines. And then the black itself has a nice matte finish, and this continues down to his arm. So, and then the wrist parts, really well sculpted as well. Same for the hands, you can see the layers of detail in there. And that's the same thing for the other arm, but of course you do have the police logo as well. And then the belt itself, same thing, the police logo is nicely sculpted and detailed. And then the belt has a nice silver finish. And then moving down to the legs, again very basic sculpt. But they do look accurate to the suit for the most part. And then these parts of the shins are sculpted as well. And then you also have some creases in the folds for the boots. Makes them look really nice. And then for the shoes themselves, well sculpted and detailed. So for the most part the figure is really well sculpted. It captures the lightness of the character really well. For articulation, the neck is on a double board joint, so he can look down about that much. Although this part is actually on a joint, it doesn't really move that whole lot. So you're mostly going to get the movement from the top joint. So he can look down about that much, not really a whole lot. Look up that much. You can tilt his head side to side, as well as twist. For the shoulders, it's on a board joint that's connected deep into the torso. And you have this floating piece that cups around the shoulder. So you can move the shoulder around however you like. And it's also on a hinge. So you can bring his arm out to the side. Bring his arm forward to the back. And then he does have the bicep swivel as well. And then he's got double jointed elbows. And then board jointed wrists. Moving to the torso, so there's a double ball joint at the top and a ball joint at the waist. So, although he has double joints, the way it's sculpted is quite limited, so you're only going to get about that much forward of a bend. 
and then very limited bending back as well. Same for bending side to side and then you can twist it slightly as well. And then for the hips, there aren't ball joints, but they also have the pull down method. So you can pull his deck down like so, and then he can kick all the way up, which is a lot of motion, kick back that much, kick that far to the side, and then he does have the thigh swivel in there as well. And then he's got double jointed knees. And then finally, he's got ball jointed ankle. So you go back that much, forward that much, you lean side to side as well as twist. And then he's finally got the toe hinge. So because he's got quite a simple design, and because of the figure arts technology, he has a lot of range of motion. And for the most part, he can get a lot of wide range of poses with this figure. But that's the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. So for hands, he comes with a pair of fists, two hands to hold his weapon, one left hand to hold his gun, two open hands, so one relaxed hand and one hand to hold the morpher, another pair of open hands, and then more pair of open hands, one posing styled hand, and then finally one pointing hand. He comes with his weapon, which is like a baton, it's very well sculpted and detailed, has a nice glossy and shiny finish. He comes with the same weapon, but extended. And then he also comes with his gun, again, nicely detailed and sculpted. And then he comes with both weapons combined. And then he's also got his SPD Morpher, really well sculpted and detailed. And then the front can also be opened as well, like so, but there isn't any detail inside. Would it be nice if there was though? And then finally he comes with these attachments that go onto his belt so that he can store his morpher and his belt. And then each part has a peg, which just slots into the holes on his belt. So my final thoughts are, overall, I think Figure Arts did a really good job with this figure. The sculpt is really nice, definitely captures the character's likeness really well. Looks just like he came out of the show. And because he is a web exclusive figure, he is on the more pricier side. And because he's quite an older figure now, from what I've seen, he can be really expensive in some areas. But if you can find him for a decent price, then... I'm sure you won't be disappointed with the purchase. And if you're aiming to collect the entire Decker Ranger figure arts, then I definitely do recommend getting this figure. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures.